Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. I think about the last time I did something for their community. They practiced and shooting me. I guess I did something wrong. Something that can't be settled over a game of Pong. But these niggas came bearing arms. I'm still writing songs. Never want to leave my home. Stay in the sheets. Sucking tits until it's sunny morning. Excuse me, grand rising, stack piling. She got her own money. We just high fiving sexual organs. Cause that's what gods and goddesses do. Let me know if that's an issue. I'm a firm believer in residual income. I don't know if women still use land calm but my products way fucking better shoot stack hey, cheddar hey, uh. i know you're waiting for another episode uh, another episode i know you've been waiting for another episode i know you've been waiting yeah let it fucking go i know you got the yo yo oh Man, it, look, it's gonna be hard topping that theme song. I gotta come up with a, a new theme song for Lord of Perfected Work, cause that's that's more like keys to the island theme song. Anyways, what's good, y'all? <laughs> I'm Lord Shoot X, and you're watching another episode of Lord of Perfected Work. Probably said that fast as fuck. Well, okay. If you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com. Check it out, cause got some shit on there for y'all. Got some new shit. I don't got my blog on there yet, but soon come. Actually, it's already out there. Just get on Tumblr and look for Shoe Loves Rebels. Tumblr. <laughs> that website is old as hell, y'all. But I have all my shit on Tumblr. The music is too loud. How is it too loud? How how am I too loud? Here, I'll turn it down. Fuck it. Let's, let's see how it sounds. Yo, it sound like the club in this bitch. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, this shit sound like the club. What you talking about? And it don't matter how much I turn it down. Like, that shit is still gonna bang. Hey. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Hey, it don't matter how much I turn it down. Like, that shit I didn't turn it down as, as much as I would like to. All right, that's good enough. Appreciate that. All right, y'all. Even though y'all can still hear me, but whatever. Welcome back to another episode of Lord Perfected Work. You are in the consulate of Lord Shoot X, Futuring the Night and Mother Earth. That's the name of this, this episode today. I know y'all like, what the fuck does that even mean? Well, for starters, I was outside working on the garden today, planting some plants. Actually, I ain't plant shit today. All I did was move the garden from up under a tree, on the right side of the tree, to, to the left side of the tree. <laughs> and I dug up a bunch of dirt and I grabbed some worms that I seen and I put them in this little cup. And I filled the cup with dirt and I'm gonna make some compost with the worms. I'm gonna put them in a, a big Tupperware bucket with a lid, poke some holes in the lid. And whenever the fam, you know, got some pills and shit like that, or some fucking old fruit, vegetables, whatever, they just throw it in there. And the worms be like. So once I got all that shit out the way, pretty much that's what it's gonna be delicious ass motherfucking compost that I'm gonna put in my garden. I'm so excited, y'all, even though there's not enough dirt for the garden, so I'm gonna have to buy some dirt. 
But I still gotta dig up some more of that dirt that's left over today, so that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Boy, talk about a nigga was sweating like fuck too. Why my whole goddamn shirt went from gray to black <laughs> from all this fucking sweat, man. But it's cool, man. I like getting a good workout. Woke up this morning. Got out to bed about 6 o'clock. Did some yoga. Uh, yo, I did some Qigong today, too. But I came up with my own Qigong because, you know, I'm a shaman, man. I come up with my own shit. I don't really... I like following some nigga shit every now and then if I feel like, okay, this this works. You know, this works for me. You know, this we inside the consulate. This kind of cool. It's working for me in, in the consulate. So, you know, I, I feel myself getting stronger. But then I was just like, I'm going to just fuck with, uh, I'm going to fuck with my shit today too. It's just better that way. But yeah, fucking with the garden today. Oh, shit. All right, y'all. So I just got a message from the angels. I normally, this ne normally never happens on the stream. So we're going to see what this message is. The message is 606. Let's see what they say. 606. All right, y'all. This is the message for gang gang today. Focus less on the material aspects and financial issues of life and look to a more spiritual approach to having your wants and needs met. Simply hold faith, trust, and gratitude as gratitude lifts your sense of what is enhancing, uplifting, and positive. Trust yourself to make the best decisions for you and your life and be open to ideas, signs, and new opportunities that will bring your material needs to you. Focus on love, light, and spiritual aspects of life and give any fears or concerns about your materials or material and or financial situation to your ancestors for healing and transmutation. Trust that all you need will be supplied by the universe in divine time. Divine right time. Sorry. So, uh, the is, uh, uh, hold up. I'm fucking up. Angel number 606 may also suggest that issues to do with family and loved ones will be sorted and resolved to the advantage of all involved. Love comes to life when we both give and receive with grace and gratitude. Recognize your capacity to affect other people's lives in positive ways. Enjoy your relationships and the companionship of those close to you and give love freely and unconditionally. Wow, that was a beautiful message. But you know what I think? I think you already knew this. I think most of the things that your ancestors tell you, you already know because guess what? I don't even wanna say it, man, but I'ma say it, dog. You are the ancestors. Okay. Think about it like this. Your ancestors had babies. And those babies made more babies. And they made more babies. And more babies. And all that DNA is inside those babies. That ancestral lineage information. Trauma. Information. Trauma. History. No trauma. <laughs> All that information is inside you. So, in reality, all the skills, gifts, talents, etc., etc., all those things are inside your body too. Because inside the consulate of Lord Shu X, Future and the Night and Mother Earth, all these things go together. Don't be afraid to get out here and be your best self because I'm waiting. I'm waiting for more people to get lit. I'm waiting for more of y'all to just be like, you know what, bro? You you know how uh, niggas quit their job. First thing they do is they knock over the computer. They're like, you know what, bro? Fuck this job, nigga. I need this shit. <laughs> I don't need this fucking job, nigga. Fuck y'all, man. You know what? I don't even want my last check. Fuck y'all, man. That's how you gotta be right now. The Matrix is that, that bottle I just had in my hand. And 
your job is the culture. <laughs> you need to knock this motherfucking job out. You need to knock over this TV and the job and the matrix. Cause there's no there's no reason for you to uh, keep this culture that we have. It doesn't need to continue at this point. This shit is sucking the life out of motherfuckers. And I had a real moment today where it dawned on me. I was out in the garden, bro, digging up some dirt. And the sun was shining on me. And that was probably the hardest work I've done in a long time. And it was for a good hour. Now, I'm used to working eight to 12 hours in hot ass kitchens with a thousand dickhead ass people even though I love people, y'all can be dickheads when it comes to line cooking. When you in this little bitty ass kitchen, the line about, about this big, it gotta be this wide because it might, yeah, about as big as this window. So, look, this this is literally how the kitchens be, y'all. So, I'm over here chefing. How long to that, uh, how long to that sauce finish? Turn around. The line right behind me. Now, I'm used to head chefs being like, Hey, we got a hundred guests in this bitch. I need you motherfuckers to cook like your fucking life depend on it. Yelling all in, in a brother ear. You know, that shit could cause anybody PTSD. I don't give a fuck if you been to war or not, man. Shit, ain't nobody trying to hear no goddamn yelling. Or some random ass nigga, you, you only see this fool when you go to work. And then they always try and tell you, oh, we're a family. We're a family at work. Bitch, y'all ain't my family. Shit. I come up in this motherfucker to get paid and leave. <laughs> I'm trying to get close to y'all. Because nine times out of ten, only people that mostly work in kitchens I ever worked in, they all did some kind of hardcore drug. You won't know it until you hang out with them after work. Y'all sit, y'all sitting out back and they like, you want to snort some coke, bro? I'm like, nigga, we just got off this shift. The fuck? But hey, you know, it is what it is, bro. People be hyped up off the cocaine, cooking y'all food. That's why it'd be really so good. <laughs> Most of us were just, we was just smoking weed before the shift or during the shift at that. <laughs> be in the back of the building rolling a fat one. Come back in, boy, I swear, you looking like we just walked off the space cruiser. Hey, man, you trying to work pantry today, cuz? Nah, I think I'm gonna work the flat top. <laughs> Swear to God, boy, come back from out that bit. Be looking like the man, bro. But it's cool, man. I be loving that shit, cuz in the real, that moment of being out in the sun and just roasting like fuck, digging up that dirt, made me realize that, hey, I would much rather do this shit for an hour than to be in fucking hot ass kitchen or in a pharmacy serving drugs to the fiends or just any of that shit, bro, for eight to 12 hours. Because I, the fulfillment level was like instant like instant gratification for me when I went out there and did that shit as opposed to working them 8 to 12 hours get a paycheck and I still be like bruh this paycheck is lame they ain't even pay me what I'm worth like I know they couldn't afford me if they really could pay me my worth but what the fuck so I woke up one day and I walked out of that bitch and I I told them niggas good riddance. <laughs> and now we here on another episode of Lord Perfected Work. Drinking delicious water. About to go eat some sandwiches and some chips after this stream over with. Because really, I stopped. I stopped what I was doing. I stopped my life, y'all, for this stream. So everybody watching this stream, I appreciate you. Because... I really could have said fuck this shit today, but I didn't because I had to drop the bomb. Sometimes life funny like that. 
You know, you could work 100 hours and still feel like, why am I alive? And that's how I felt. But I was outside for an hour, taking care of the earth, taking care of Mother Earth, protecting Mother Earth, taking care of the creatures of Mother Earth, protecting the creatures of Mother Earth, talking to the bees, the worms, the fucking birds, the squirrels, just connecting with Mother Earth today. And that shit gave me so much more fulfillment than working eight to 12 hours, you know, 60 hours a week, getting a paycheck. And I don't even know, buying stupid shit with it or fucking, I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like doing that will pay me more money. Taking care of Mother Earth will pay me more money than fucking getting up at five in the morning, pissed off, taking a shower, pissed off, eating food, pissed off, getting in the car, driving to work, pissed off, coming home, pissed off, just pissed off because I know I got to go do the same shit tomorrow, pissed off, so I'm pissed off, even I'm pissed off squared at this point, pissed off cubed, because I get there, I'm still pissed off squared, and then I get there and I realize I'm at work and I'm pissed off cubed, like it just, it's like a never- <laughs> It's a never ending equation of being pissed. I get nothing out of it. And only reason I do this shit, I be realizing like, damn man, maybe I should maybe I should uh take the traditional route because people looking at me, I should I should, you know, do this and do that and, and I'm just like, you know what? When these niggas die, I gotta live still. <laughs> I'm not doing this shit, man. <laughs> when I could just really get it out the mud, like I'm a hustler, man been a hustler my whole life like fuck that but yeah that shit dawned on me so heavy that I, I started to get mad at myself because I was like damn all these years I could have been doing this but instead I've been trying to I've been taking advice from fucking people who aren't fulfilled in their life like what the fuck was I even thinking that alone should have told me right there that, that, that stupid shoe Lord Shu, that's not very smart, Lord Shu. You probably shouldn't listen to these people, Lord Shu, because they fucking hate their life, Lord Shu, and they trying to tell you what to do, Lord Shu. But I'm such an empath, man. I really hate it sometimes, but I don't because it's a gift, and I'm grateful for this gift because it helps me to connect with y'all, and it helps me to connect with myself and people that I really care about. It makes that connection deeper. So... I'm appreciative of it, but at the same time, that shit really be fucking me up sometimes, too. Like, why lie? It really happens. <laughs> so, over the weekend, right, I fucking got to that point where I was like, all right, well, now that I'm, I'm knowing that I need to just all the way, like, step into my true shamanism and just tap into the energies that I need to be tapped into. I start going back into my natal chart, which for those who don't know what a natal chart is, and here, I'll type it in chat so y'all know what I'm saying, because I know I'm, I'm country as hell, and I know I'm from the South, and I probably sound crazy when I say certain words. So, natal chart. This is a astrological chart of where the planets were when you were born, Astrologers came up with a way to basically tell your life story, past, present, future, in this chart. Now, there's different charts that you can use. Typically, I use Eastern. Uh, well, they have a, a Western chart that mostly everybody uses in America. But I'm a fucking weirdo, and I can never just be normal. I don't know why. Honestly, I was drawn more to the Eastern chart than I was the Western chart. So let's just be real. I was more drawn to that shit than I was the chart that everybody else used to figure out their life. And I'm always trying to connect to myself on a deeper level. Like I want to know everything about myself now, which is kind of fucked up because I'm 31. But, you know, age is uh, just a number. And I really don't equate my knowledge and wisdom to my age because if that's the case, I'm really like 7,000 fucking 100 million years old. So 
that's not even a real number, but you get what I'm saying. I'm fucking ancient. So, really don't really, I really don't like using that chart anyways because people make certain shit popular and when shit gets popular, individuals tend to fuck with it. And Jade, the actual mathematics behind it. And me being the paranoid motherfucker I am, I'm just trying to override all that shit. Like, pretty soon I'll probably have my own way of reading an astrological chart. I might even come up with my own goddamn chart. You know what I'm saying? Like, spirituality is based on... T well, it's, it's kind of user-friendly. You know what I'm saying? It's user-friendly. So... You don't have to be following no specific ass path for you to connect with spirit because you are spirit. It just takes you connecting with yourself, which is why over the weekend, I sat my ass down, pulled out all my books and notes about myself, and I studied them like fuck. And I got some downloads in studying these, these books. And I, I'm probably gonna create publications of this information so that people can do the same thing when they feel like, damn, I want to find out more about me and so that I can live my most perfect life. Well, close to it because like I always say, to desire is a life of pain, but one must follow the eightfold path to attain enlightenment. Now, I'm not gonna go too deep into the eightfold path, but I'll type it in here. Oh shit. Oops. I'll type the eightfold path in here. A uh, Buddha. Or I spelled that all wrong. Eightfold path of Buddha. Now, this is a great read. Pretty quick read. Probably take you two minutes to read it. But it might take you a lifetime to understand it. So, read with an open heart and an open mind. Because eventually, you will understand what is being said. Keep the information around because what you may not understand now, you will later do certain experiences. But once you align your mental with the information, spirit will align you to understand in due time when you're ready. You know, don't try to force nothing down your throat off rip because it may not even resonate with you. That's what it takes intuition and uh discernment which is two totally different things okay they're not the same at all <laughs> everybody has their thing that um they connect with automatically you might be your religion might be mountain dew and hot dogs you know what i'm saying everybody's shit ain't gonna be the same that's why i said before spirituality is user friendly it's not just oh you can be Christian, Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, you know what I'm saying, uh, Taoist. You don't have to just follow the major religions of the world because within you is a religion waiting to be created. And that just takes one person realizing self and bringing that self into the limelight. So that people can see your code and ethics through your actions and then you, you eventually you'll gain followers you know when I started to live my truth and when people spoke to me and heard the things that I had to say eventually people wanted to wanted me to mentor them help them with their businesses help them uh, grow on an emotional level but that's the thing see I'm doing the same thing as well so that's why I like how I do my shit you know what I'm saying because 
you'll have gurus who just already be like, oh, I'm already enlightened, already like, I have achieved states of nirvana, yes, but I won't, I won't say in front of y'all <laughs> that, oh yeah, I'm just, um, I've reached the level, I'm, I'm God level, I'm enlightened, like, I won't say that shit to y'all, to y'all face anyway, <laughs> because I'm still learning, I'm, I will always be learning, and I call onto certain deities myself for information you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna sit here and just be like everything innately comes to me even though most of the time it does because that's actually one of my uh my uh spiritual gifts but i'm not gonna sit here and say that everything just comes to me innately and i'm just like all knowing like when i tap into that when i align myself with that energy yes but see, that's what it takes is working with the energies. That's why you have altars and um, you do offerings and shit to align with that energy. And really all you doing is you making these offers to yourself. Now, when you see or when you do these rituals, what you're doing is those energies that are already based in your in, in you, there's symbols and triggers you know what i'm saying little things that bring that energy out to from the unconscious into your conscious and once the once you see those symbols or see those particular actions that you're doing it brings a remembrance because remember you always attach to the akashic record so when you see these things you you're all you're doing is remembering and that energy lives within you at all times. It's just when you see it in your conscious, then you're waking up that energy in your unconscious. And now you are you are that energy. But people just equate that shit to, oh, I'm just, I'm talking to this. Like today, I was talking to 11-11, uh, right? And she's like, oh, uh, I don't really, I don't really have like a, like I don't really have a one thing that I resonate with. So my funny ass is just like, oh, well, I'm your patron God then. And I just start explaining to her all the thing, the offerings and things that she needs to do to align with my energy, right? But that's why I told her this because I am, a, I'm, look, I just want you to remember, okay? That's all I'm doing. I just want you to align with the energies that you want to remember so that you can achieve certain tasks. Because just like the beginning of this stream, I said everybody's ancestors are them. So these ancestors that you praying and worshiping or whatever, because that's that's what people kind of do, I guess. I don't do that because they are me. So all I'm doing is just paying homage to myself. And I give offerings to myself. I bless myself through the things I eat do, say, feel, see, you know, the whole, the whole shebang. So when she said that, of course, my funny ass always got some funny shit to say, but on the real, it makes sense why she said that because she is, she is already these energies. And I always tell her all the time that she understands shit that she gets it innately. And I'm just like on a logical level, like, oh, I'm just trying to align with this energy, blah, blah, blah. But in reality, I know the same thing too. It's just, I, I'm, a, I'm a logical being. I'm sorry. I'm working on that. I'm tapping. That's why today I'm tapping into my feminine energy even more. Like the hard, the harder I work on learning about myself and these energies, it makes it easier to stay aligned with all the things around me because they are me. You know, I am nature. I am the sun, the moon, the stars, the breath, the fucking light, everything. I'm all that shit. I'm a walking universe. I'm a walking universe. There is nothing more, nothing less. As above, so below. As within, so without. So, going outside of myself to look for certain things is just, it's funny to me. But it's fun to joke. 
You know what I'm saying? It's always fun to joke. Like, one thing I learned today is that divine energy is chaos. You know what I'm saying? Or divine feminine energy is chaos. Like, that's what it is. But when people think of chaos, they always think of the negative connotations of chaos. Without chaos, there would be nothing. There would be no balance. There would be no truth. There would be no masculine. There would be no logic. Chaos set the stage for these for these things to exist. And I had a conversation about that as well. How certain things that happen in my life, I talk about them on these streams because they're my personal experiences as a shaman. You know, I have my own path. And whenever I get on here, everything that I speak about is a testament to that path. So I want y'all to know, oh, if I'm following this, this is what brought me to this. This is the thing. These are the catalysts that brought me to these things. So for me to speak on them for the moment, because just like any other uh, medicine man, when he have his visions and he sits amongst the tribe and he tells the story about or, the you know, gives the vision, it's no different. Right now, I'm sitting with my tribe. We around the fire right now. You in the consulate of Lord Shu X. We, are, I wish. I, matter of fact, I'm gonna find the fire. I'm gonna find the motherfucking fire, and I'm gonna start. And we gonna start having camp around this bitch. <laughs> Cause this is this is why I do these streams for real. I want to tell y'all everything. How I went from here, from point A to point B. So that all of us together can go in in a, a similar direction to heal others because y'all everybody who watch these streams i love y'all because y'all are in it y'all are an extension of me okay so the shit that i'm dropping in here these fucking bombs y'all take that shit and use it to heal yourselves and others because this is what i use to heal myself and my journey everybody got their healing methods and believe me when i tell you the healing journeys that i'm gonna get from the people who watch these streams when we get together and we speak believe that they will be told on this channel these streams i will tell y'all because i want y'all to know the real shit. i don't want people to feel lost anymore how i felt you know what i'm saying i want to get as much information as i can without going too deep and con and confusing people i want to keep this shit pretty you know pretty straightforward so for those who actually want me to speak on deeper information y'all gotta start sharing this and y'all gotta start telling your friends hey yo lord shoe he, uh, he be on Twitch every day, Monday through Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You need to make a Twitch and you need to subscribe to his channel and turn on the notifications so when he go live, you hear the real shit and you be in a campfire with us. Cause I'm not just on here just to fucking, you know, I could I could have been streaming goddamn Halo on this bitch. You know what I'm saying? I could have been streaming fucking Final Fantasy, which I might do one day. I might get on here and stream some video games. But on the real, I'm not fucking, I'm not here to play with y'all, man. I'm here to, to heal. This is a healing channel. I should call it that, the healing channel. <laughs> Start bringing crystals on this bitch. And today's crystal is Bloodstone. Matter of fact, today's crystal is Bloodstone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you can look that up yourselves y'all. I like when y'all do the work You know, I don't gotta talk about every goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Because this channel is very surface level bloodstone is a crystal. It looks like a rock. It's red and it's black That's all you getting out of me now the real shit. I wanted to uh, post in the chat for real is I found 
the lady's video that I was trying to find on the live stream. Yes, y'all. Yes, yes, y'all. And it don't stop. Let me see if I if if her shit gonna come up. Priestess Aset Ra Amen is the shit, y'all. And matter of fact, I'ma just give y'all the whole channel and y'all can just go through it. So y'all check her channel out. I don't know this lady. I don't actually hit her up. I don't buy none of her readings or none of that shit because I'm a deaf. I just go to her channel when I feel lost. And it take a lot for me to feel lost. Like I really have to genuinely be like, damn, I don't know what's coming. I don't know what's next. To really feel, I really have to feel like that in order for like shit to, to be like that. So luckily for me, I found the information I was looking for. So kudos. <laughs> Cause I ain't gonna lie, the other day I was feeling like a whole bitch out here, bro. I was laying in the bed, like I don't know what to do. <laughs> Having that that moment of psychosis damn near. I was about to damn near there. And doing it to myself. That's the most fucked up part right there. I was doing it to myself. Like, come on, y'all. Don't do it to yourself. Don't cause yourself problems, man. Like, pull yourself together, man. Jesus. <laughs> now, if you genuinely, like, depressed or feeling bad or... Shit just, like, like life really fucked up. Like, people be having real problems. That's why I'm saying, like, I don't be having real problems. My life is, like, fucking amazing. Damn near perfect. I don't really have any real issues except maybe I might hit my fucking toe on the corner of the bed when it's early in the morning and I ain't paying attention like a dumbass but these like about as the biggest problems I have like I don't even consider like fights and arguments real problems that's some shit that you can just walk away from <laughs> you can walk away from that shit man like you know what I'm not gonna beat your ass today cause you right you got it dog what you said bitch nigga no, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. I ain't doing that shit to people, man. Fighting motherfuckers is lame. Unless motherfuckers want to fight, then, you know. Holla at me, man. Y'all know what block I'm on. I'm throwing hands till the sun go down. But uh, this channel is not to promote violence. This is a healing channel. The healing channel. And you're watching another episode or Lord of Perfected Work. I'm Lord Shoe X. And if you haven't been to my website, shoelovesrebels.com, you should go check it out because we got all kind of goodies, music, videos, all kind of content for your head. No, I'm just playing. I'm not playing, but I'm dead ass serious though. You should check out the website because I've been putting my heart and soul into the content on this website for years. And the fact that it is here, Y'all definitely should fuck with it. I didn't got the shame plug out of the way now, so. Now that that's out of the way. What's good? You're back in the consulate of Lord Shoe X. Future in the night and Mother Earth. What does this mean? Well, a knight is a protector. It's a brave motherfucker. <laughs> Someone that you really put your trust into in the kingdom because that's your protector, you know what I'm saying? It's basically like a guardian angel, but on earth. And then you got mother earth. <laughs> so, you know, I just put two and two together. How can you protect? How are you protecting people? What do you, what do you feel you need to be protected from? How can you protect yourself from these things, you know? And we on earth. How can you align with Mother Earth's energy? Because she's a protector as well. You know, uh, there's animals out here that can protect you. You know, animals that we as people <laughs> have uh, domesticated. You can get you a cat, a big ass cat like a lion or a panther. Did y'all know that the biggest group of lions that still exist 
in West Africa is in Wida. Do you know where Wida is? I think I spoke about Wida the other day. Um, the Kingdom of Judah or Wida or Benin. I think it's called the Republic of Benin now. The home of voodoo. Yeah, that's where the biggest um, pride of lions is in West Africa. And that's probably the biggest that there's going to be because lions are actually dying a lot. And that's where most of them are, is in the kingdom of Judah. Y'all putting this together yet? Okay. Just thought, I just figured I'd ask, you know. Because it's a lot of things been coming to me lately. This this whole summer, since uh, honestly since May, I've been getting a lot of messages about who the Sphinx is, the face of the Sphinx, the Sphinx, who it's based on, what's underneath the Sphinx, why people go in the pyramids now, why people used to go in the pyramids, what the pyramids actually are. The pyramids are actually a large retort. Yeah, I spelled that right. Retort. I spoke about this, how humans, people are the actual philosopher's stone, but there's also a philosopher's stone. That's all I'm going to talk about with that. Because I'm only going to drop little pieces, little jimmies. This is the gem of today's today's live stream with Lord Shuet. You know, I got to thinking today that Citrin is a philosopher's stone. Anyways, so yeah. Just fucking chilling. About to eat some sandwiches after the stream's over with today. I was thinking about how um all them popsicles that they be selling have so much dye in them, bro. Like, god damn. The same dye that they use in Legos be in popsicles. Anyways, I just be fucking laughing because all weekend I was really trying to learn about myself the most that I could. And I found out a lot of cool things about myself, which is why I'm back on these live streams. Heavy, my nigga. I'm heavy in these bitches. Started thinking about live streaming for like four, five, six, seven hours one day, just doing like a fucking Lord Shoot X marathon one day, just live streaming for like eight hours straight. But I don't know. I got to figure out things that I want to do because I don't want to just be on live stream and then people just watching me like fucking scratching my toe or some crazy shit. <laughs> like, come on, bro. I mean, look, my brother said some funny shit to me. He was like, bro, people be live streaming for like 12 hours and they literally don't be even talking. They don't even be saying shit, bro. They just be playing video games and people be on there watching them for like 12, 12 to 24 hours. I'm like, who? How, don't these niggas have jobs? I know they ain't at work watching Twitch while they fucking delivering my pizza because that sounds like a goddamn wreck waiting to happen. Like, y'all wildin'. <laughs> Pay attention to the road, bucko. <laughs> don't be on here watching Laura Shuex laughing and you in the motherfucking car like, <laughs> This motherfucker's stupid. Oh, shit. I done wrecked the Nissan. Like, bro, come on. The fuck you got going on, bro? Now you know damn well your ass ain't supposed to be on motherfucking Twitch. Delivering my pizza. They were like, shoot, you don't... He, he could have died. Man, that nigga ain't bringing my pizza, man. And you know how pizza companies is. You try and, you try and get them to deliver the shit again. I'd be like, oh, sir. Uh... We're having a chicken wing shortage, so our pizzas are, uh, we don't have enough uh, dough balls, and we ran out of pizza sauce, and uh, actually, we don't even sell pizza, sir. Uh, this is Burger King. 
So I just be like, bro, you know what? The nigga is dead. My piece of dead. Shit. Fuck it. <laughs> Y'all got me fucked up, man. If you don't bring my damn pizza, man. <laughs> you better go scrape that shit off the highway, bro. And bring me my shit, man. Y'all fucking playing. Goddamn. Watching Twitch for 24 hours. Like, these must be little ass kids or something, bro. And I'm like, why the fuck? That, that might be why they just be watching that shit all day. Because they're just like, ooh. He's fucking playing Halo or some shit. My brother said that shit to me. I'm like, you know what? I'm finna just get on here and just talk. I might I might stream some video games and talk about spiritual shit, but then the game my gaming is gonna be trash. Like y'all imagine me trying to talk about this type of shit. I'm streaming consciousness. This is a stream of consciousness right now. And I'm I'm talking about this shit while I'm fucking trying to play Mario Kart. Well, you know how many fucking walls I'm going to run into? You know how many stars I'm not finna get? You know how many motherfucking uh, shells I'm finna get hit by? Because I ain't finna be sending shit to these niggas. I'm be talking to y'all, crashing the goddamn cart into the fucking water or some stupid shit. And then don't even get me started on Mario Party, man. I'm going to be losing like fuck trying to talk about spiritual shit while I'm playing Mario Party. Like, they're going to be like, this nigga's weird. How he going to be talking about... Uh, the Philosopher Stone, and he over there playing Mario Party. What the fuck? <laughs> hey man, shit. Wizards gotta live too. We can't always just be fucking meditating and goddamn making wands and shit. Like man, I'm trying to fucking, I'm trying to eat hamburgers and fuck some bitches too. Shit, I ain't gonna just be trying to fucking uh play Mario Kart and shit all day and be talking about dumbass shit like. I mean, I could be talking about dumb shit. I should talk about some stupid shit every now, now and then. Hmm. What's some stupid shit I could talk about? Uh. Hey, y'all heard Drake Bell was dating like a 12-year-old. The dude from Drake and Josh. He was dating like a 12-year-old. And he fucking going to jail for child endangerment. But not pedophilia. Y'all heard about that? He was trying to fuck on like a little six-year-old or some shit. I don't know if y'all heard about that, but that's pretty stupid, if you ask me. <laughs> you see, I'm not built for this type of shit, this mundane shit. I'm just not built for it, yo. Like, I'm out here trying to balance, balance the fake with the real. I'm out here trying to heal the nation. I ain't trying to play PlayStation. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not gonna lie, though. PlayStation is hard. <laughs> My cousin got that new Xbox, right? The one that looked like a, uh, it looked like a, I don't even know what the fuck it looked, it looked like a cigarette holder or some shit. That <laughs> shit looks stupid as fuck. It's like a, uh, it's shaped like this. The bitch look like this. And you put the games in like, I wish I had a CD, man. Okay, so this is CD. You put the game in like this. And then it goes in. Yeah, I had to try and make it look like it was going inside the game. <laughs> All right, cool. It looks like it went inside the game. So, they got this shit on there, right? You remember on when you could download video games from the past on your computer? And all you had to have was like a, a controller that hook up. Or you could hook up like a, a wired Xbox controller and play that shit on your computer. And you could play old school games like... Super Mario 64 and fucking Paper Mario and shit like that on your computer. Boy, they got this shit on the new Xbox, y'all. They got ROMs on the Xbox, y'all. So you can download... Like, this man be playing PlayStation games on the damn Xbox, man. I don't know how illegal that is, but I'm pretty sure that's Pirate's Bay at its finest. So I was like, shit. My brother was um, talking about this game that we used to play on PlayStation when we was little niggas. It's like an entrepreneur game called Top Shop. And basically, you just open up a hundred fucking businesses in this mall, right? Like, the, the board, it's like a Monopoly type shit. And you got this board. And it's a mall. Like, a big-ass mall is what the board is. And you just, like, open up as many stores as you can. You roll a dice. You open the store. If you stop at another nigga's store, you gotta buy something at that bitch. 
I was like, bro, you need to tell that nigga to download that shit on the fucking Xbox. Cause I swear to God, he come over here, I'll be like, yeah, I know we making beats, but I'm playing this Top Shop shit. Like, fuck that. That shit is hard, bro. And like, I don't even know where the fuck we found that game. I just had the little PlayStation 1 with the screen. You remember they used to have the PlayStation, used to have the screen attached to it? I'm that fucking old, but I don't look it though. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all see this. Yeah, man. Shout out to uh, Black Sea Oil. Shout out to uh, Hohaba Oil. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Sarah Bay or Sarah V. Shout out to that. That should be having me looking beautiful. But yeah, I thought that was pretty cool, man. I just hope niggas don't get arrested for doing that shit because the fact that Drake Bell damn near was raping a six-year-old trying to get in a relationship with her and went to jail for child endangerment instead of just full-on pedophilia is just crazy to me, bro. Considering the fact that uh, they locked up my boy Pill. I mean, even though Pill out now, but I don't know why because... I don't know, man. It's a lot of weird shit going on right now with these fucking celebrity people, man. But that's what Hollywood's about, y'all. They ain't nothing but a fucking ritualistic... I mean, they all fuck with Baal ba ah, or Baal. A fucking dark-ass entity. I'm gonna type his name in so y'all know. They probably gonna fucking pull up to the crib like, uh, is there a Lord Chu here? Yeah, he's under arrest for lies and... He, he need, we're going to take him to the psych ward or whatever. But that's cool, you know. Too many videos out here talking about niggas doing crazy shit. I don't want to add to the problem. You know what I'm saying? I want to heal the problem. How can we heal the problem, y'all? What y'all trying to do in uh, 2021 to help the kids out? Help the fucking babies out? Help these women out? That's what I'm trying to figure out, man. I, I want to start a group so bad. On Discord, I want to start a Discord server, uh, right? About how all the people in this chat, all the people that come into these live streams, let's make a Discord chat and let's discuss how we can solve this problem. We don't got to be freedom fighters out here with AK 47s or none of that shit. It's always a way. 1111 <laughs> told me today, she said, let me see if I said it right, because I said it wrong so many times. She said, use my imagination to create solutions. So, we should make a Discord server doing that. Because the more motherfuckers doing that, the more my magic, it's like a spirit bomb. You know what I'm saying? The more, the more magic we put into it, the less violence we'll, we'll have. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's just a little, little funny idea I had. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, nothing too deep. You know, just, just a little Discord server where we just talking about our imaginations. Oh, imagination! I imagine saving a million kids from sex trafficking by simply just imagining. Hmm, sounds cool. If you ask me. Sounds like I don't have to leave the crib either. <laughs> Cause I'm not leaving this crib until Shoe Pro LP is finished, y'all. You hear me? Shoe Pro LP, look, the consulate of Lord X, man. That's what's happening in here, okay? The night is protecting us, man, on Mother Earth. She protecting us with the night. She the one that's giving the night the energy to protect us. Cause we on the moon with this shit. We we going what they be saying? XRP community, we to the moon. They I swear, people who have XRP want XRP to hit a hundred dollars so bad. And you know what? They motherfucking right. Cause I got a shit ton of XRP and I'm waiting for that shit to hit a hundred dollars. <laughs> I ain't really waiting. It's just gonna happen. Eventually at some point, somebody the feds might buy XRP or I might buy XRP shit. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. Anyways, I just figure I'd talk about cryptocurrency at some point because 
honestly i was on cryptocurrency when it first started all that nft trends and shit i had an nft as a homeless person <laughs> and now everybody making nfts to sell other niggas albums like dame dash tried to sell reasonable doubt which is jay-z's first uh album he tried to sell it as an NFT, and Jay-Z was not going for that shit, y'all. That man was like, bruh, what the hell? That's the only album that Jay-Z don't own the masters to. Dame Dash and I think somebody else who uh, bought the biggest share of Rockefeller Records owns that shit. And I think Dame actually bought that other guy out because dude was trying to sell his other share. So Dame Dash owns Reasonable Doubt, but Jay-Z doesn't. And Dame Dash won't sell the shit to him. Now you know damn well, if Jay-Z offered me a billion dollars for his first album, you think I'ma say no? See, that's how you, see shit like that just lets you know how people be trying to hold other motherfuckers creative work. Like if you make music and you watch my stream, please own your masters and do not fucking sign no 360 deal with no fucking label, okay? No 360 deals. Fuck a 360 deal, bro. That's how they fuck your ass out of your masters. You know, you can sell... Look, Lil Wayne sold his masters for $150 million to all his albums. Now, think about this. Lil Wayne would be considered one of the greatest rappers of all time. He'd be in a lot of people's top fives. If it wasn't for Lil Wayne, all these new niggas that's out now would not be rapping. I mean, I would say Kanye West and Lil Wayne is the reason everybody sounds like Kanye West and Lil Wayne right now. And what's crazy to me is these niggas don't care because all them niggas is going to Kanye West and Lil Wayne. Yo, I can get a feature. Lil Wayne still featuring on niggas songs to this very day. Kanye West as well. People still working with him. What's the nigga name? I did. He did. Uh, Kanye West did the song with um, Lil Peep. Nah, Lil Peep's a nigga that killed himself. I'm thinking of the, the Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. That nigga. Fucking, what is his name, bro? Ah, I can't remember his goddamn name. But the Gucci gang motherfucker did a song with him. She's such a fucking hoe. I love it. I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. I'm a sick fuck. I like a quick fuck. <laughs> I like my dick. <laughs> I, love, I love Kanye's verse on that song. Cause it's Kanye, bro. Come on. But yeah. Just goes to show you, man. Niggas gonna ride the wave. They gonna ride the wave. Same thing with me on these on these streams. I can almost guarantee you, bro. I do enough of these streams after a while. And y'all share them like y'all supposed to. Cause y'all my lovely, great, loyal streaming people family. I don't even know what the fuck to call y'all. I'm gonna call y'all the rebels. Y'all my rebels, man. Y'all the fucking rebels. Oh, that's hard. I just came up with that lie, too. <laughs> Listen, rebels. When y'all share this shit, and y'all gonna y'all gonna run it up, because I already know it. Pretty soon people gonna be trying to ride my way. But you know what? I'm alright with that. Cause that's what trailblazing is about, man. Anyways, let me stop being quirky. I appreciate y'all for watching the stream today. It's getting ready to rain like a motherfucker outside. I'm about to eat these sandwiches. Please share these streams with your peoples. Because there's some pretty potent information amongst all the foolishness of Lord Shuex. Probably more information than there is foolishness but yeah man y'all see how much shit i just be knowing look at the look at the chat just take a just take a little review at the chat and just look at the shit that i just just sits in my brain it's a goddamn shame man i should have been doing this but hey i guess it's better now than never right Anyways, I appreciate y'all. Much love to everybody watching the stream. I'm out this bitch. Ooh, I was about to imitate the uh, the counter again at McDonald's. 
Let me stop. I'm gonna get off this bitch. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna get me kicked off this hoe. <laughs> Holla. Peace. One love.